Hey folks, this is Dave Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Um, coming to you today with a video. I know it's been a good long minute since I've put out a video. Um, I have been busy. I have been good and busy. Um, I've been dealing with stuff at work. I've been dealing with stuff at home. Um, just to let y'all know, um, my dad has some, some rather severe uh, medical issues going on right now. So if I'm not around as much as I should be, that's, that's probably why. Um, I wanted to talk to people today about taking ownership. I talk about it often, but I think it needs to be spoken repeatedly, uh, taking ownership of what's yours and wherever you're assigned to work, is yours um i've actually come up with five individual steps to taking ownership and i think the first video that i'm going to do is about the first step of taking ownership and the first step of taking ownership is declaring that something is yours um when you buy a car okay you go on the parking lot you go on the lot and you look at the cars and you find the one that you want and you get it in your head that's mine and you go and you go through the process of purchasing it and once you've declared that it's yours you take steps to make that vehicle yours what's the difference with doing that at work um let's say you are a sergeant over a dormitory where would the problem lie in you saying this is this is my dorm this is my housing unit this place needs to run the way i want it to run uh, the staff need to take care of this place the way i want it taken care of because it's my dorm um from the eight for the eight hours to 16 hours that i am here this is my housing unit this is my dorm and I need to make sure that all the inmates are taken care of. The inmates have everything they're supposed to have. All of the paperwork is present. All of the other office items that are necessary to run that dormitory are present. Make sure that your staff are taken care of. Make sure that your staff have ample opportunity to go and do their job. Um, so much, so often in our field specifically I, I can't speak for everywhere else but specifically in my institution the sergeants have secondary duties and so often the sergeants allow those secondary duties to completely encapsulate their day and they depend on that staff member to sit in that dorm by themselves and do the job and that's that's not conducive of taking ownership of it. You have to declare that it's yours. All the secondary duties are also yours, but your primary responsibility is that housing unit. And declaring that that is yours is one of the fastest ways to put yourself in that mindset of taking ownership of that housing unit. Okay. Um, that, that's honestly all I've got for this video um the next video is about the second step to taking ownership the first step of course is declaring that something is yours the second step is treating it like it's yours um i'll get into that in the next video all right uh this is this is just a a touch base video and it's the start of a series of taking ownership. And the first step, like I mentioned, is declaring that something is yours. So there it is. And I want to end the video the same way that I end all of my videos on this channel. I want to, uh, I want to uh, give my spiel about domestic violence. Um, if you are the victim of domestic violence or you know a victim of domestic violence, remember that the domestic violence hotline is 
799-SAFE. 1-800-799-7233. 799-SAFE. The people at the other end of that phone call have the tools, abilities, and resources to help the victims of domestic violence. If you know the aggressor in a, uh, the aggressor in a domestic violence in a situation, say something to somebody. The worst thing that you can do is nothing. And if you are the aggressor in a domestic violence situation, there's help for you too. The first thing you have to do is admit that you need that help. And then you have to ask for it. Folks, I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. And we work in corrections. One team, one fight. That's all I got for this video, folks. I'll see y'all in the next one.